so it's currently 3 50 p.m it's really dark outside already um and i just was in this mood to reset my life for 2020 and i've been thinking about doing this for a little while now just kind of doing a few things life admin things house admin things tidying up decluttering just a few things that need to be done like there's about 13 or 14 about two weeks ish left till the new year's and i'm trying to do a few things that will help me reset my life so i'm going to go through them with you today start off with i am going to declutter my wardrobe there is one section of my wardrobe there's one section that i'm actually quite ashamed to show you guys but i'm going to have to show it to show you what i'm going to do about it it's just all there it bothers me every single day and every single time i open it or my husband opens it i just feel this shame so <laughs> it's been like that for about six months now and it frustrates the hell out of me this is the section that i'm talking about this is all mine from here to here these are all my blazers for the most part and then this is my husband's sort of shirts and things like that and then as you go down hang on hang on hang on there's this section here which is just can you see scarves scarf there's a hat there there's a hat down there this is my swimming bag this is an asus order that needs to go back <laughs> i just need to tidy this up so it is all done as you can see nice and neat this is the box that my watch came in um i got some cultural clothing there that i need to like fold up and put in a nice bag prayer mat i've got like four prayer mats in this house <laughs> officially done and as you can see i have decluttered um that box i think is still going to go into the it's going to go to the office um which so that's not going to be there so actually i can just move that now because i'm not going to leave that there so all i've got left are the hats that i pick up and my husband wears on a daily basis and that's my gym bag a uh, swimming bag and this these are my fitness belts so i've done that that was the first thing um next i need to do a bit of life admin and I have to book my dentist appointment because they've been bugging me for a few weeks now. I try to go every six months and just get a checkup and a mouth like cleanse, wash. Um, and also I need to check my bank statement because I got paid yesterday. And I just need to transfer like my savings into my savings account and then leave what needs to be left in my current account. My dentist is only available on Tuesdays. And yeah, let me call him right now. Welcome to Smile Clinic, London's leading dentistry and facial aesthetics clinic. Calls may be recorded for monitoring and training purposes. Yeah. Yeah, only Tuesdays. Um, are you open on the 24th, Christmas Eve? Um, anytime really, uh, it's 10am I guess? How about 10? Perfect, great. Okay, Hex, great done that <laughs> they've been messaging me since look they've been messaging me since was it october yeah october basically i haven't had time to do that so perfect also going to quickly transfer my money just to make sure that everything is transferred and i also just look at my account and just give my account a quick kind of check over to make sure that there aren't any weird uh okay fine that there aren't any weird outgoings um, or that all the outgoings are the, are the outgoings that I expect. Um, so yeah, got paid yesterday. We usually get paid about a week early um, in December for Christmas. 
doing a few life admin tasks before the new year just means that you're giving yourself those small little wins at this time of year a lot of us are tired and just want to get into a new year into a fresh start but by booking these appointments and by making sure you're checking up on yourself on your health your physical health your mental health um, and just looking at your kind of your your bills and everything and just making sure that everything's in order it just gives you that small piece of pleasure um, and makes you feel like you've accomplished something okay next on the agenda is to reflect on 2019 and again this is something that i really wanted to make sure that i got done sooner rather than later just to think about the goals that i had given myself for 2019 and whether or not i achieved them and if i didn't that's absolutely fine but kind of trying to self audit and understand what went well what could have gone better um what parts of your life did you excel at this year what parts did you work on but you're still working on um and what i did last year and i'm also going to do this year again um later on is to make myself a bullet journal this was my bullet journal last year in my bullet journal i did have a page there which had my goals um, and I split it into five different goals. So the first was personal, second was family, third was career, YouTube and business. Um, and I kind of tried to think about goals that I wanted to achieve in all of those different sections. Um, I just kind of look at this and give myself a bit of a bit of reflection really and I think I'm going to try to do that a bit a bit more later. The next thing that I want to do is to set goals and plan for 2020 and I usually try to do this us using either bullet journal and I did this last year um, but I also wanted to try a mind map this year. This is something that I do need to spend a bit more time on so I'm not going to do it right now um, but definitely if you are someone who is trying to do a life reset then think about a mind map and think about how you're going to map out your plans for the next year or the next two years and the next three years. I'm going to be doing this sometime this week or next week and I'll share it with you guys in a video. Next on my list of things to do is a social media cleanse or a phone kind of cleanse, a phone detox, whatever you want to call it. Something to do with this thing here in my hand. The first is to back it up. The worst thing that could possibly happen is for my phone to something to happen to it and I haven't backed up my stuff. More importantly, I find that actually taking some sort of time to declutter your phone, be it photos that you don't need, be it apps that you don't really use, updating the software and apps on your phone, just things that keep on popping up and keep on annoying you, just sort those out. And when you go onto Instagram and unfollowing and following pages that I feel like I would benefit from in 2020. So for the most part, I've unfollowed pretty much most bloggers and most social media influencers. Um, and I'm saying this as potentially someone who is considered as a social media influencer purely because I don't feel like I gain very much from those types of people um, and I mean take from that as you wish um, that's just my personal opinion I definitely prefer following pages where I feel like I'm inspired I'm learning something I'm given some sort of input that I can then feel satisfied with and I found that when I was following people that were very superficial again take that with as much of a pinch of salt as you wish it definitely made me feel like i had to compare myself a bit more and um i felt the need to go and buy makeup or go and buy clothes or whatever and uh yeah so think about the kind of feelings that you acquire after going on your social media page if it's not positive then think about why that may be um, and definitely take steps towards cleansing your space because this is something that we go on all the time does i have no issue against influencers but i want to learn something from that influencer so if they've started um, a podcast or something really um inspiring that i feel like i could learn from then i'll follow them i'm going to quickly look through who i follow and see if there's anyone that i do not really need to follow anymore and the other thing that I'm also um, have done actually just now and I'm doing is to send messages to one or two people that I feel like have really inspired me and have made me think a little bit about 
um, what I'm doing or the way I, the way I live my life. And this is quite, this is actually not my idea. It's an idea that I took from someone who sent me a message and we're sort of social media friends and she's from Canada and the other day she messaged me saying, she was like, hey Mina, I'm a true believer of letting people know when they've inspired me and letting people know when they've done something that has um, influenced me in a positive way. And this is why I wanted to let you know that you have. And she sent me a really, really nice message. And I was really touched and I thought, you know what? We never appreciate the people that we actually speak to, the people that we actually know. So yeah, I'm going through my Instagram right now and I'm just messaging a few people saying thank you for being who you are and thank you for being the positive light on social media when there's a lot of negativity around. <laughs> And the last thing on the agenda for my 2020 life reset is to plan January. Now, um, I know that January seems like it's really far away, but it really isn't. It's less than two weeks away. Now, January is one of the most depressing times of the year. Um, it has been proven that it is. And there's not really any holidays or bank holidays until like Easter almost. So what I like to do is to organize a few things that mean that I've got things to look forward to. Um, I have found a few events. The first event that I found is a book club. The Candid Book Club is a book club that I attend and they have a candid conversation with, with Alia Muro. Um, and I think she's an author of um, a book called The Greater Freedom and I'm yet to hear about her or read it but I do know that this book club is really 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 good and the, the kind of crowd that attend this book club are my type of crowd. The event is happening on the 16th of January so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down my diary. Let me check my diary first to see if I have anything going on that day. 16th, no I don't, it's a Thursday, perfect. Okay so I'm going to get tickets for that event so that's one thing that I know that I want to do. And what else do I have planned? And please let me know what other kind of videos you want to see getting ready for 2020. I'm really excited to bring more productivity and lifestyle, sort of intentional life content onto this channel. Let me know what you want to see uh, from me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.